So uh, this is a tie-up. Um, basically, it's an untraditional tie-up. We face, I guess, we probably face this way, this way, so you can see a little better. First step here is it's like a collar, you're in a collar and elbow position. What you want to do is you want to force this arm up while simultaneously coming down by his jaw. Reach around, go right to it around his temple, and press while you push. And you're going to use that to pass. And a lot of people, like um, my business partner Kamal Soros, will go into a suplex from there. Um, you don't necessarily have to. There's a lot of things you can do from that position. So we'll do it one more time. And then something else you can do from that position. Basically, it's here, clear the arm, come up and around, and jam it from head into his jaw where you're pressing against his knuckle, which is a pressure point. You're coming around, you can go behind him, you can get a two on one on his arm from here. There's a lot of things you can do from this position. You can drop down and pick his ankle, you can suplex him. But basically, it's a setup move. It's not in any way a submission hold. It's simply a setup. You could also use this move if you wanted to. Once you clear the arm, you could use it and twist them for a setup for a cowboy. Unless you keep going the other direction, you drop them that way. But you can, you, where basically, wherever he ends up, you can modify your offense. So it's basically, it's a way to. Uh, Innovate a tie-up. Why don't you execute that all the way through? Okay. Real time. So here. Come in. Wherever he landed. Here he landed more in a choke position. Sorry. Sorry. So it's just basically where your opponent lands. Okay. What's your next move is. <laughs> Alright, thank you.